dissipate a little bit and mainly is moving to the west northwest. Now, if that trend continues, it'll be good. Everybody, hello, Queens, and hello to the Highway Patrol uh, outpost number three, specifically Gary and Frank. Now, let's be frank. Here's Isabel. Uh, this is the storm that caused all the serious problems in Puerto Rico and Ponce yesterday. It started out as a tropical wave. Now, Isabel has sustained winds of 50 miles an hour with gusts to 65. It's possible she could become a hurricane tonight or tomorrow morning. We're watching her very closely. The movement on Isabel is north at 10 miles an hour. However, prog charts, uh, which are forecasting maps, seem to indicate that she'll take a west-northwest turn Look out Savannah, Georgia, or Jacksonville, Florida in the next couple of days. Really bears watching. Again, her peak uh, wind... We put it into motion. Notice nothing much is happening. The storm is meandering along. And I can tell you, we have never seen, never, or don't have any record of a hurricane as strong as this in these waters this late in the year. This hurricane has been picking up strength uh, throughout the day. Satellite shows you the eye very clearly now. We haven't had a reconnaissance in there since about 1 o'clock this afternoon. But we think very likely that it's even stronger than it was the last time the plane was there. Now, we'll have a new plane out there within the next couple of hours, so we'll know for sure. As we take you back in time today, since uh, late morning, you can see that the hurricane now has been getting better organized all the time. The eye just began to appear on this picture, and you can still see it on the last picture. And not only that, it is moving faster, quite a bit faster than it was. It now is moving toward the west-northwest about 15 miles an hour. Is centered just about 100 miles uh, east now of Grand Turk Island, and that is only about 150 miles or so from Miami. Here are the latest coordinates, uh, 21.3, 69.5. Top winds are 90 miles an hour, and it is moving toward the west-northwest at 15 miles. States. Again, this is unprecedented, especially coming from this area at this time of the year, this late. And it's not just a minimal hurricane anymore either. We can see the eye of it quite clearly north of the Dominican Republic now, and there is South Florida. Over the last 12 hours, let's say, the hurricane has been moving pretty much on a west-northwesterly direction. One of the things that may potentially weaken it is Cuba. Cuba's sticking out here a little bit, so if the hurricane doesn't curve a little bit more to the northwest, it may graze Cuba, and they have a lot of mountains there, so that could conceivably weaken it. But this hurricane is not going to be going straight north or northeast like they generally do at this time of the year. The weather pattern is a summertime weather pattern in this part of the world, and this hurricane is going to be following that summertime weather pattern. So just because it's never done this before, it's doing it now and is likely to continue along this track, at least for a while. The latest coordinates, 21.5 north, 70. Moving off toward the west about 15 miles an hour. We haven't seen any change in that course now in the last several hours. And here you see what the history of uh, has been. It's very near the coast of Cuba, and it's going to stay that way, we believe, for the next 24 hours or so. To treat it with great respect, and that's why we got the watch up. We've got a hurricane that moved through the southeastern Bahamas earlier today, and it's on a westerly course. There's a fairly decent river of air that's moving it towards the west at the present time. The dilemma we've got is we don't know whether the center is going to go a little bit south of west, and if it does that, then it goes down into the north coast of Cuba. But if it goes a little bit north of west, then it comes up in our direction, and we would have to change the watches very quickly to warnings. What about that uh, river of air you mentioned? What are the probabilities that that is, in fact, going to hold it down and move it on toward Cuba? Well, now, again, we can't be that precise on whether it'll be down to Cuba or whether it'll be in the southeastern part of Florida. We do believe that a general westerly course, this river will move the storm in a general westerly direction over the next 24 to 36 hours. But if that center moves up towards us, then we're going to have to respond very quickly. Okay, thank you very much for that information. English town, Faye and Irving Lasky have a big wedding anniversary coming up this week. As a matter of fact, uh, it's wedding anniversary 45, and they live very close to the covered bridge area down there in English town. All right, here she is, Hurricane Kate, 90 mile an hour winds moving straight west at 15 miles per hour. Kate was first discovered by aircraft reconnaissance planes on uh, Friday night when she was a mere tropical storm. But now she's a hurricane, not a, a tremendous hurricane, but indeed uh, the possibility of further strengthening exists. Again, the top winds are 90 miles an hour, and you can see here's uh, the very south tip of Florida, and uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see what she does as the week progresses. We have a hurricane on her hands here, and it's uh, 
hurricane warnings have now been issued along the Florida coast all the way from Jupiter around the Keys to Fort Myers. The reason, of course, is right there is the eye of the hurricane. You can see it just to the southwest of Ackland Island, just about over Ragged Island now. It continues to move toward the west at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. To demonstrate that, let us go back now to about 10 o'clock this morning, and we'll put this in motion, and you can watch it move off very steadily toward the west. See how clearly you can see the eye right there? Just about 20 miles an hour, and maybe not quite as fast as that right now, but we don't see a whole lot of change. It's moving perhaps just a tad now north of due west, and that's why the hurricane watch along the Florida coast has recently been changed to hurricane warnings. Now, looking at the latest position, it's centered 435 miles, just about due southeast of Miami. It continues to move toward the west at about 20, very close to the coast of Cuba, as you can see. In fact, they're getting gale winds, almost hurricane force winds now, in Oriente province, and those are going to sweep along the coast through Las Villas into Matanzas a little bit later on. Hopefully late in the hurricane season. Warnings are now in effect on the Florida east coast from Jupiter Inlet southward to Dry Target, Tugas, and on the Florida west coast, northward to Fort Myers, including all of Lee County. Now the storm is continuing to move on a westerly course 15 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon. A very strong river of air has picked the storm up and is moving it on a rather rapid westerly motion. The whole problem and the whole dilemma tonight is whether the center will move a little bit to the south of due west or whether it will be a little bit north of due west. If it's south of west, then it goes into the north coast of uh, Cuba later on tonight and spreads on into western Cuba tomorrow. If the center, though, moves a little bit north of due west, then the storm comes up into the southeastern part of Florida. And because we don't have the skills to forecast between these alternatives, we felt that it was best to go ahead and post hurricane warnings along portions of the, of the South Florida and let people go ahead and take the actions tonight that they have to take to protect their life and property. Now, local government officials are issuing specific uh, information on areas to be evacuated and specific actions that you might want to consider. It moves along. Now, I'll let it go one more time, and you can see that it kind of takes a little turn, just a slight nudge to the south. Boy, I hope that's true. But the Air Force Reconnaissance plane found that it had actually drifted a little bit to the north. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Affected by this, he'll run down the storm situation as of the last hour or so since we were last on. A lot of people are concerned. Good evening. Uh, I have the latest update on Hurricane Kate. Uh, as of the last hour at 8 p.m., Kate was centered just off the Cuban coast, and this position is about 325 miles southeast of Miami. The hurricane is moving due west at about 20 miles per hour, and if it continues on this course, it should begin to produce hurricane conditions along the north central coast of Cuba during the next few hours. If this hurricane should turn a little bit to the north, a little bit right of its due west course, then hurricane conditions could spread across South Florida tomorrow morning. The latitude and longitude as of 8 p.m., 22.2 degrees north and 77.2 degrees west. Well, and what Miles had to say was certainly good news for the time being. Here's the path of Kate. It has moved in generally a westerly direction, wobbled a little bit around the last uh, four or five hours. Now, this is the 6 p.m. numbers. He gave you the new conditions, 22.2 and 77.2. Way over here. Now, watch this as the eye develops, and you can see for yourself as that eye wobbles around, it is generally a westerly movement. Again, now watch. We'll put my finger right here and watch as it moves along to the west. Uh, from there to there, just generally west. Now, if it continues that, like Miles Lawrence said, it is going to probably affect mainly the northern coast of Cuba. If that trend continues, that's going to be great for us. It means we will probably not see uh, really, really bad conditions up here, probably gale conditions. We'll probably see a lot of rain. And uh, just to the east of Andros, we're seeing a pretty good band. Now, this is one of those spiral bands around the top of the hurricane. The storms and the showers within are moving rapidly toward the southwest, but this thing is moving this direction. So we're going to pick up this rain between now and tomorrow morning, no question about it. Right now, though, the rain is not really that much of a problem over the rest of the south. Put your eye on this eye, and we'll watch it over the last, uh, well, almost 12 hours, really, as it moves right into the coast of Cuba. And 10 o'clock is the latest picture that we can get because they come in just once an hour. But uh, there you can see the eye, and as it goes right along the coast of Cuba, that shows good signs for... Uh